how to be a road biker. Follow these steps and you too can be like us. Step one, buy a road bike. Buy a road bike that you have to remortgage your house for and can lift with your pinky finger. Now that you have one bike, buy five more for the following disciplines. Cyclocross, commuting, time trial, fondo, and gravel. Remember that the maximum number of bikes you can own is determined by the N plus one formula, where N is the number of bikes you currently own. Step two, spend whatever little money you have left on a winter training bike. You wouldn't want to get your other shiny bikes wet or dirty. Step three, know what kind of road biker you are and dress accordingly. Racer, commuter, cyclocrosser, gravel epic racer, randoner, coffee shop poser, or Fred. Step four, invest in a good pair of padded shorts. Without them, you won't sit properly for days. Step five, learn how to ride with your feet clipped into your pedals. The 30% increase in efficiency is more than worth the number of falls you're bound to take. Step six, learn basic road biker jargon such as the following. Watts, bonk, slam, snap, off, tempo, chamois, car back, endo, cadence, hammer, fondo, arrow, threshold, breakaway, century, peloton, and VO2 max. Now you need someone to ride with. Join any club or team and buy their kit. It won't make you any faster, but at least you'll fit Guys, in. I'm off! Off! Step eight, get used to the soothing feeling of chamois butter. Step nine, if your ride's not on Strava, it didn't happen. Step 10, wear one of these stupid hats. Everyone will take you seriously when you wear one of these. Step 11, become a weight weenie. I think the red bar tape's faster. Step 12, coffee isn't just a beverage, it's a lifestyle. Take coffee snobbery to the next level. What are you using? Where is your espresso maker? Is this milk even organic? Ugh, is that white sugar? Are you trying to poison me? Step 13. Start an obnoxious diet by eating foods that the majority of the population doesn't know exist. Wow. Seriously? Kale? You know you can be eating dandelion greens, right? You know you see buckthorn around? Oh, Omega 7 levels are just diving recently. However, you will make exceptions to this rule for beer and coffee. Recovery day! Recovery day! Nobody really knows why, but you have to shave your body. Shave your legs, shave your chest, shave everything. If anyone asks you why, choose from the following. Yeah, it makes me more arrow. You slide better when you crash. It's better for massages. Haven't you read the rules? Eh, everyone else does it. Step 16, buy a Garmin and use it on every ride. Oh, yeah. In fact, use it all the time. Oh, I'm gonna KOM. Step 17, choose your arch enemy from the following list. Mountain biker, triathlete, clueless cyclist, motorist, pothole, or gluten. Step 18. Know the difference between IPA and EPO. If you don't know, ask someone with a yellow live strong wristband. Step 19. Learn absolutely nothing about how to fix your bike. There are plenty of bike shops that will be pleased to do the dirty work for you. I read on the internet that you could put a DI2 derailleur on a SRAM shifter. Can you do that to my bike? Step 20. Brag about how many miles you put on your bike and make sure it's more than your car. Yeah, I did a double century yesterday, this morning this afternoon, and you know what? I think I'll do another one right now. Step 21, sign up for a Grand Fondo. Sure, you could ride the same route on another day for hundreds of dollars less, but where's the fun in that? Step 22, remember that spandex is revealing. Get used to avoiding looking at every person's junk. Step 23, no more excuses. Harden the f up, unless it's a recovery day. Oh, guys, it's my recovery day or a recovery week. Step 24, pray to the cycling gods that your favorite athlete isn't caught doping. Step 25, don't be surprised when people identify you as a cyclist by your tan lines. Step 26, own the road. Motorists will be more than happy to share the road with an environmentally conscious and active citizen like yourself. Hey, get a car. And finally, now that you know how to be a road biker, plan your next epic excursion to the nearest coffee shop. What did we miss? Leave a comment in the comment section below.